Well, it's rained pretty much nonstop for the last three days, so the water is super high and really flowing. And with a red stag in the bag, we are hunting for anything we can get close to. The rain seems to have caused the animals to retreat into the thick cover to wait out the weather. Over the past couple of days, I have tried several unsuccessful stocks on fallow deer. Anything? Yeah, there's three wild sheep, a very good wild sheep up here, four sheep. We are simply glassing for game, looking for something to stalk. Straight up here. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's only about 2.30, and we're down over the back, and it's a really pretty spot down here. We're just going to sit and wait and see what pops out. Can't see any right now, but... After a couple more unsuccessful stalks, we finally get into position on a fallow deer. Finally in position. Right down over the edge here. Yep. Just down over here, actually. We are really hoping this guy moves into a little bit better spot so we can make a move on him. Things are really looking up now as this fallow gives us a chance to get a little closer. And a quick check of the range shows 55 yards. This guy has no idea that we're right above him. Pretty confident that we're going to find it around the corner. Man, we spotted that fallow deer, I'll bet, two hours ago, maybe three hours ago. About that, yeah. And we've been trying to get around to it, but we kept getting sidetracked. I mean, honestly, we were trying to shoot a doe, and uh, we couldn't get that done because they're just so spooky. We were actually making our way back towards the lodge and uh, we came around to take one, one more quick look. Sure enough, there was a nice uh, fallow deer down here, so we gained about 10 yards coming around the side of this hill and got 54 yards from it. And uh, I made it, it looked like a good shot. Uh, it's a little bit too far forward. It kind of went through the shoulder, but uh, it ran up that bank and kind of disappeared on the other side. We'll see what happens here. We're going to go look for it in a little bit. I think we disrupted the area pretty good. And uh, it's just gone up this this uh, bit of a track here and gone over the side. And we just just found it just down on the scrub here. Sweet. I can't Perfect. wait to see it. Just on not too far off dark. Yeah, it's just right here. Let's Beautiful buck. And here he is right here. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. Look at how he ended up down in there. Amazing. I walked right by this man. Oh man. Well, yeah, he is piled up down in there, isn't he? <laughs> Perfectly. Good. All right, well, we'll dig him out of there, get some pictures, and get him out of here before dark, huh? Yep. I love it, man. Give it up. Good stuff. Thanks. Yep. Oh. Ooh, what a day. And Matt heads back to get the truck as daylight runs out. And what a great way to end my New Zealand bow hunt.